Hi there, and welcome to Stamping in the Barnyard. My name is Bethany Barnard, and I'm an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And I'm sharing 12 weeks of whimsical Christmas projects with you. And this is actually week five. If you've missed the first four weeks, I hope you'll check them out on my YouTube channel. But this is a 3D Christmas card that we're gonna make today. It's really not that difficult. And it would stand up like this on someone's desk and I have laid it down so that the camera would give you that 3D view of what it would be like. It's not too difficult. It's part of the horse and sleigh suite. This is a bundle that comes with coordinating dies. It also comes with the DSP and the snowflakes, which I show you in week three. If you want to see a look at the paper, etc. It's got beautiful paper in it and I struggle with, I say this in week three, I really struggle with cutting it down too small. So this card is actually bigger too than our usual card size. This card ends up being five by seven and fits in a larger envelope that will fit a five by seven. These envelopes are five and a quarter by seven and a quarter. So let's get started. It's really a simple project. I have put all of the dimensions in the description below, but I'll try to tell you what they are as we put this together as well. And we're gonna start with the card base, which is in the Lost Lagoon. And it is eight and a quarter by five inches. And I have already scored it at one and a quarter on both sides. Okay, so this would have been eight and a quarter by five, but I've scored it one and a quarter either side. I also use this Very Best Trio Punch, and I like to do the top corners here. I don't know if you can see this in the card, but I just feel like it looks better than that sharp edge of the card. So I like using this. I like using this trio punch for a lot of different needs as they come along, but I particularly like that it's just, for me, softens those corners. So I like to use that punch there. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is take our designer series paper, which this is six by six pack, but I've cut this down. This is what I have trouble with. It's such beautiful paper, and I don't like to cut it down more than I need to to make this card. So I am gonna go ahead and adhere that inside. It is just so pretty, isn't it? I mean, I live here in South Florida. No, I live in North Florida. <laughs> I live in the South in Florida. And, you know, I hear a lot of people who talk about, well, we don't really have snow at Christmas. And I think, yeah, but I still just really love that traditional snowy scene at Christmas. Because I guess in the North Pole, it's still snowing, right? So I'm happy to still have snow scenes for my Christmas. All right, some of the pieces that we're gonna need additionally is for example, for our greeting, I'm gonna put all these pieces out and then I'll tell you what they are as I use each one. So we're gonna have a greeting here in Cherry Cobbler, which comes from the set and it's gonna say, wishing you a season of cheer. And then we're gonna go ahead and have that come in because you'll see this, this actually comes out as well. Stamp this. And this is on a piece of white cardstock that is one and seven eighths by three and a quarter. But to make that come out in a 3D look, we're gonna take this other piece that I've already scored as well. And this is, if I can open it, this is, again, five inches by 
five eighths of an inch. And then I scored it at half an inch, interesting, I scored it at half an inch at two and a half inches, three inches, and that's it. So I'll put that in the description as well in case. You, and that way you can have all your pieces cut and be ready. So, and this is just the basic white. And what we're going to do is you have one end, you've got the long rectangle. The other end you have this little short one. And we're going to want to put our glue on the longer triangle here. Triangle? <laughs> okay, it's late at night. I'm flying out in the morning. I'm trying to get these videos done before I leave. This is not a triangle, it's a rectangle. <laughs> I'm gonna just put that right about here. And as I said, that longer rectangle is where I put the glue and I put it that side down. So this is the half inch here. And now I'm gonna put glue on that half inch that comes up to this, this fold here now. I hope that makes sense how I did that with that piece that's scored. And then I'm gonna just shut this flap. And we're gonna do this a couple of times, so you'll see how that works. Not exactly like that, but pretty much like that. So see when I open this flap, okay? That gives me a little stand. And now I'm gonna put glue on that and I'm gonna put my greeting right on there. And then when we fold it like this, it'll fold flat and fit in the envelope. There we go. This is good glue. You don't have to use too much of it. The worst thing you can do is have an explosion of glue that causes you to have glue go where you don't want it to go, which in a car that card that's 3D, if you get glue that goes on the back of the paper, then you're going to have things stick into the back that you don't mean to have stick into the back. Okay, so there's our greeting. And then we're going to take these pieces are, I think I wrote them down, six and three quarters by half inch. Yep, six and three quarters by half an inch. And I've scored on either side at the half inch mark. And so we're gonna put glue just on that little half inch tab here. And then we're gonna put it all the way flush to the bottom here. And then we're gonna shut the card. Wait, I don't know, five seconds doesn't take long for this to adhere. And then you've got that. And then you're gonna fold this flap to the left to expose this half inch tab here. And then you're gonna shut the card going this way and that will pick up the other side. So you want to kind of make sure it goes either either direction. I don't know what happened there because I feel like it didn't fold right. Yep, so let's just fix that again. There we go. It's always good to... Make sure it's folding in both directions to go into that envelope. Okay, so there it goes. That's working fine. 
And then we're gonna take, I have also cut up, die cut, because these are part of these snow banks come in the die set. So we have two snow banks here. And while, before we put that next one on, I'm gonna go ahead and add these snow banks. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of glue on the strip. And then I'm gonna put the snow banks on. And then we go, and they fit just exactly across, two, two of these snow banks fit exactly across the strips that we've made for this size card, which I thought was very convenient. And you just want to make sure that you haven't put so much glue on that it leaks around the back. So that's why you want to make sure you go a little under the top of the strip. But there you go. There's our little snow bank. And then you want to put your tree in. And I've cut this out of the pool party because I think it it's kind of goes really well with the uh, Lost Lagoon color that's in here. So I'm going to put that. Oh, where do I want to put that tree? I could put it here. If I put it here, it's nice to kind of get the horse and sleigh, which I've already stamped and colored for the video. But let's see, do I want it there? You can put it wherever you want, but I am, I've decided I am going to change it and put it right on this side. On this card, I've put it over here, but on this one, I'm going to move it up here. So I'm just going to put about glue up about an inch of the stem. If I put this where the bank is the highest, I have more for it to adhere to here. So there you go. I don't know. I think, I think, let's see how that horse goes with it. Yeah, that's going to work. Yay. I'm glad about that because I think it does matter if you, if the horse covers up most of it, but this worked out well. It's still in between. All right, so we're now going to take our other strip. It's exactly the same, six and three quarters by half an inch, scored on either end at half an inch. And we're going to put this one on basically the same way as we did the first one, only now it's up a little bit higher because we're going to sort of lay it on there while we close it but you're going to see that it'll, it'll come away from this first strip here. So I'm going to go ahead and close this like that. It's a good time to clean it up. And This card's actually coming together pretty quickly, but of course I did already die cut so many of these pieces but if i have that all in the description you can be ready to go and just make this card along with the video so now we're going to put some glue on the other half and see as it comes together and it's glued you have less to work with as far as the folding goes so you so you can see that what i'm going to do here is slide this in and then shut the card just like it's going to go in the envelope. I don't know about you, but I really like 3D cards that stand out and give a bit of a wow. And you can see that coming together. Real happy with it. And now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to put some banks, snow banks here as well. And I'm trying to decide if I want them to go up any higher because I want to be able to see those. So I think it's, I'm going to make these go just a tiny bit lower. So now, instead of putting the glue on this white strip, 
I'm actually going to put the glue on the snow banks so that I can see and move them downward so that there's a little bit more depth on the snow banks. They'll come up higher behind it. I hope that makes sense. And here. Again, we're going to shut this. And it almost looks like there's snow banks on the side of the road, like a snow plow has come by or something, because you can have this, what I would call a road line. Now, I can force this to fold the other direction, but as you build your card, it will naturally fold in one direction more than the other. So I would just, you know, let it, you know, figure out which one that is and go with it so that you don't stress the card too much. But it's coming together. And now I'm going to just put some glue along the bottom of his, the horse's feet and the sleigh, and we're going to put it right on here. And we will be done. So you can see it really does not take that long to make this card. Now I realize, as I said, I did some of this in advance. But if you wanted to make several of these cards, you could do so much of it. Um, die cut in at once and then get a lot of these made right away. Whoops, you don't want to do that. Now with all that glue on the back. Let's try that again. Now I'm gonna shut the card so I can really put it down. And if you're interested in knowing any of the colors, I use the pecan blends on the horse's body. And then I used the pebble on his mane and his tail. And then I used the smoky slate on the sleigh. I did bring out my Lost Lagoon on the woman's wrap and their hats. And then I used the pecan on the man's coat. Some of the cherry cobbler on the blankets that are inside the sleigh. I think that's all the colors. I did put a little cherry cobbler on the horse's harness, etc., too, to bring that out. And there you have it. Two beautiful cards. I hope you like them as much as I do. Thanks for watching.